Hi everyone, I'm Gary Note. In today's video, we're gonna walk through a self-service enrollment workflow, including the automated deployment to a particular store. In my experience, project teams deploying an enterprise solution isn't the same team that controls the infrastructure. Without proper planning and lead time, the separation can cause delays as requests for infrastructure changes need to be ticketed, escalated, and even approved. So why not provide the project team members a self-service option? With the Keyfactor portal, you can do just that. Let's take a look at our PFX enrollment flow and automated search store deployment. Here, I've logged in as a user that has our enroll only permissions. From here, they can choose PFX enrollment. They'll select their template based on their access. Here we have a web server. Here they'll enter the necessary details for their server. Once they've entered their values because of their permissions in the platform, they can now select the install into certificate store option. Here, you can click the include search stores button and we see a list of possible certificate stores. In this case, my server in the IIS store. But these store locations will vary based on which orchestrators are installed in your system. So we'll go ahead and select which search store we want to include, go ahead and close, and we'll choose do we want this to happen immediately or do we want to schedule it for some time in the future. I'm going to go ahead and execute immediately. Once we hit enroll, after a successful enrollment, we'll see a message that the certificate was successfully issued. Once I hit back, we see that I have no other access except for the enrollment or to view kind of the certificate stores that I have access to. So let's log out and take a look and see how this job has run. Now we've logged back into our Key Factor portal after enrollment here as an administrator. So we're going to take a look at how the automation for that certificate's enrollment took place. Under the orchestrator menu, in the jobs area, we can look at the job history and we can see that our IIS management job created earlier today was successful. That's it. That's how we can provide automation for end users to request certificates as well as deploy them to the infrastructure that they have access to.